Roblox powering imagination. A classic slogan that everyone loves. Oh. Uh, never mind. Apparently, they changed it. The new one is reimagining the way people come together. A little less catchy. But I'm willing to bet you didn't notice that change. That's because when an update isn't very good, Roblox usually is more quiet about it. But today, I'm exposing them and showing the top 20 worst updates that they secretly added. But first, we gotta start with this. One of the good updates. The top 20 worst list has to start with some good things as well. Like Roblox community events. Events. As you can see in this picture, it's sort of just like any Roblox game can host an event and you can sign up to it on the game page. Now, I'm willing to bet you didn't notice this because I sure as hell didn't notice this. <laughs> Literally the first time I saw it was the other day, which is what inspired me to put it into this video. So yeah, this update is kind of secret. I'm sure not many people knew about this one. Anyways, next feature. Group name change is now available. Yeah, for the entire what? 48 years Roblox has been up. You've never been able to change the name of your group. What is it? The middle? ages until January of 2022. I'm guessing the way you do this is just go to configure group, go down to here. Yeah. And it says the name of the group. Hey, if I want to, I can change it now. But this next feature is even more useful. You ever heard of Meep City? Follow-up question. Have you ever heard anything good about Meep City? <laughs> kind of notoriously awful Roblox game that's very unsafe for kids that I've made 12 videos on in this playlist. Here, let me just watch one of the videos I have where I put on a Roblox shirt, turn around and the video has has to be censored, it was so bad. I did this in a Meep City party, a feature where all this type of negativity bred like insects. But now you can no longer join parties, they are extinct. And so is half the game's player base. Now this next feature is one that you may have noticed, though most people don't usually go here. If you click create on the top of the screen, it takes you to a place called the creator marketplace, where you can just like look at all of these. I think this part was a recent update, the marketplace part up here. But yeah, it just looks really good. If you were for back in the day, it used to look like this a lot worse. But now it's so sleek and satisfying and has capybara. That's probably good. Oh, this is a new one. This one's still in beta. I don't know if it's out yet. Trading instantly beta. The only source I can find for this is a random ass PC games article. So I don't know if it's real or not. Basically underneath a limited item, you have the option to buy it and now the option to trade it. Back in the day, trading used to be a lot harder. Had to go to their profile, had to friend them, had to complete a 14 step survey, had to graduate college, pay a $12,000 fee, but now you can just trade. Though most Roblox players don't trade, so I'm willing to guess you, an average citizen, didn't notice this one. Now is where we start to get into the eh, changes that some people hate, some people love. These look like normal Roblox faces, right? Wrong, idiot. They're dynamic heads. They're so dynamic. Look at them. Aerodynamic. Air is flowing over these bad boys. But no, they're called dynamic faces because they're animated. Whoa. And obviously, I I noticed this update and I'm sure many of you did too because you watch Roblox YouTubers, but the average player base didn't notice this and they just got randomly jump scared when they saw the Roblox woman open her mouth slowly like a scary monster like this. Some people hate this update. I think it's silly. I think it's goofy. I don't think it's hurting anybody. All right, here's where I start to sort of dislike them. They changed the name Creator Dashboard to Creator Hub, which I know, I know, I'm whining over something that is literally one word. But the point is they're trying to make the site more metaverse -y. Future, future. I don't want the metaverse, man. I want Roblox. I did not sign up to Facebook meta. But I acknowledge nobody cares except for me. So this isn't super high on the list, but I don't like it and my opinion's important. I doubt anybody cares about this one. Community creations tab removed from the avatar shop. If you go to the avatar shop, you see all these hats. You used to be able to sort all items into community creations. You can't do that anymore. Personally, I actually noticed this one because the community creations tab was something I used a lot. Nowadays, huh, I can't do that. And the reason for this, pretty much the entire catalog is community creations now. So there's no use for a filter that's already everything. And boy, am I glad because UGC's the best thing ever. Look at that hat. Doesn't that just make you want to scratch all your skin off to check for bugs underneath? Oh, and here's another one that doesn't really matter that much. Roblox changed the recently updated tab with a recently created tab. So you can't really sort by updated anymore. You can just sort by created and nobody cares. This guy is asking who asked. This guy's trying really hard to have an opinion. Just admit it doesn't matter. Recently created? No, no, this can't be. I need recently updated, recently updated. But I am going to ask you to subscribe. I like to ask at the middle of the video, 
because by now I know if you want to or not. And you're only allowed to subscribe if you're enjoying the video. If you hate this video, you're not allowed to subscribe. All right, now we're starting to get into updates that people actually dislike, like actively. Roblox updating their selection tool. Here's a video of it. The old one looked like a nice rectangle, whereas the new one looks super smooth. It bends around the corners of objects and more accurately selects things. But people are upset. One of the top comments is, I wish they had this as an option rather than a force push. Xenac, my friend, comments, old is more functional. Which, yeah, the old one, you can actually see a lot better than the new one, which a lot of people were upset about. Personally, I'm not a Roblox developer, so I don't care. Stop complaining. It's only your job. You cannot lie to me and tell me you noticed that. If you noticed this one, like the video. Please, I'm begging you. Ah, now we're into the top 10, where they actually kind of start to get bad with the fact that Roblox shut down in China. The chances you notice this are low because you don't live in China, but Roblox used to have Luobu, which was basically a Chinese version of Roblox to appeal to the Chinese market because the Chinese market is massive. I don't know if you've looked up the population of China recently. It's a lot. The Chinese government is even stricter than Roblox thought they were, probably. So the whole thing got taken down. Kaput. Not for good. They're gonna make a new one. They're just reworking it to be more appropriate for the Chinese market. The next one is about the My Feed tab on Roblox. Do you guys remember the My Feed tab on the side of the Roblox page? Ah, <sighs> me neither. I don't think anybody used this tab. If you use this tab, you're stupid. I don't use any of these tabs, especially not these two. <clears throat> My Feed tab used to show your feed updates from your groups, maybe, I don't know, because I never checked it and I'm not gonna start now. It's gone. But this next one's even worse. Five million people worse, actually. Yeah, thank you, Shark Blocks, for the source. Roblox banned five million people. Five million at once. Why might you be asking? Hmm, why would my beloved Roblox ban so many people at once? China. Basically, when they did the Luobu rework and took down Luobu, they banned five million people. Five million. Goodbye, five million people. And this next one is continuing the trend with awful features that people hate. Roblox got banned in Oman. Oman is a country in Western Asia. 4.52 million people live there. And if any of those guys played Roblox, they can't anymore. Yeah, people got upset and DM'd the Roblox RTC account saying that they couldn't play on Roblox Oman anymore. Now, why did people ban Omanis from logging onto Roblox? Unknown reason. Nobody knows why. No one knows. <laughs> Omanis just can't play anymore. Because I don't know. Roblox doesn't know, I guess. The wiki certainly doesn't know. Oh, Oh, I got a rant about this one. The verified badge. Now, I know that everyone noticed the verified badge, but not everyone noticed how it affects me because I'm important. Let me tell you the truth about the verified badge, okay? It's cool. I like being verified on Roblox. It makes me feel like the bourgeoisie, like I'm rich. I love it when people who watch my videos and recognize me come up to me. But whenever people see the check mark, it doesn't matter if you watch my videos. You can just swarm me. I love it when people who actually watch me come up to me, but I can tell if you don't care about about me. The next thing is UGC Limiteds. Basically, people can now upload their own Limiteds through UGC. I can upload a Limited now, and the reason this is a bad feature is not because the reasons everyone else has been saying. It's because you're gonna lose money. The thing about UGC Limiteds is that they're not special. These are special. You're never, ever gonna get your money back from them, so just buy it if you think it's a cool hat. Or if it's worth zero Robux, because you are guaranteed to make a profit on zero Robux items. Oh god, this this one was a nightmare when it was announced. Roblox name and logo community usage guidelines. You may have remembered YouTubers making videos about this, though most of you probably didn't notice. Basically, Roblox made it against their terms of service to use their logo or the word blocks or Roblox or Roblox avatars commercially in any way, which basically means to sell a product. And what people thought this meant at the time is that YouTubers are screwed. We can't put Roblox avatars in our videos anymore. We can't put them in our thumbnails anymore, and that's probably what it should have meant, but Roblox doesn't care about their own policies, and they didn't follow up. Oh, here's the one in the intro. Yeah, Roblox's slogan is no longer powering imagination, despite it still being used in parts of their sites. And if you look up Roblox slogan, it's still powering imagination. That is still what comes up. But you can see in this article, along with their new logo, there is also an introduction of a new tagline for Roblox as well, reimagining the way people come together, which is dumb. Powering imagination was already kind of dumb, but it was out 
or dumb? It was funny Roblox cringe. Reimagining the way people come together is so lame and so clunky. I feel like people didn't even notice this one. I'm gonna be honest. And for the last update, the worst update that Roblox didn't think you'd notice probably, giving UGC access to everyone. It was so bad and caused so much havoc. It's impossible not to notice it. People started re-uploading limiteds. They started destroying copyright. Right here is a FNAF clone. I don't think you have rights to rainbow friends. Why are you making rainbow friends? So yeah, UGC has gone to crap. That was the worst secret Roblox update. Maybe share the video so people can learn about these. Or don't because you hate me. Bye. <laughs>